Technically, I did my third year at Navarro 2021, but because of COVID, it kind of threw everything off and I technically do have one more year of eligibility there. If Navarro slips up this year, Trinity Valley is right there to snatch the title from them. How and when did you guys find out that Trinity Valley would be featured in season two? And how did you feel about that? I honestly didn't even know that they were filming at Trinity Valley because I didn't know this until literally like around COVID, I think, because a couple of my friends, they were on the Valley and they're like, yeah, Netflix is coming over here too. And I was like, oh, really? But it really didn't make me feel any type of way just because I know that they are athletes also and I know they love what they do also and I do have some friends on Trinity Valley and I do like I cheer with some of them right now we all just want the same thing we all have a passion for the sport and we all love it and yeah we as much as I say like oh yeah we're friends like the minute that we get on the mat that's a different story that competitive side is going to come out and you're going to be ready to go but overall like i think that they are also a great program and it is always been a neck and neck thing with navarro and tbcc but overall have a lot of respect for them so. what was that moment like after having been through covid shutting down and then finally competing in 2021 and then was, you lose <laughs> it was definitely like i was so ready for 2020 i was like we're going like we're doing this we are right there and we're gonna go and like you know defend our title and when COVID happened it was kind of just like a dang like we worked all this time to basically come to the very very last part and it wasn't even like we had the option to do it or not it was kind of just like you're not doing it anymore like it's done and I think it really was an eye opener for like, just you never know what can happen. Things can happen all the time. And it's just, it makes you really appreciate the people more. Mm -hmm. So I think 2021, like we really like overall appreciated each other a lot more, even though we may not have always seen eye to eye with each other. And we may have fought with each other. Like we loved each other very, very much. Navarro and Trinity Valley battling it out yet again. There's a little bit of talk in the episodes about the fame that Navarro has had and how are the judges going to score now? Do they want the underdog to win? Did you feel that the scoring was fair or were you frustrated? I mean, honestly, I think that we did. We had a mistake and mistakes happen and it is a part of this sport. It's a part of any sport. You're not always going to be perfect, but I don't think that because Monica necessarily wasn't around as much that that's why that mistake happened. Because personally, we hit so many times before that one mistake. And honestly, it's a part of cheerleading. And I think that no matter what, like it, whether Monica was there all year or she wasn't, I think mistakes happen and it is not in Monica's control. It's in our control. And I know that Dancing with the Stars was a very big thing for her. And I think that overall, like her going, it's not like we were by ourselves. Like we had Andy and we also had Kaylee. And I think that Kaylee like specifically did a really good job. And like, I personally felt like Kaylee was handling it very, very well. And honestly, like our routine in Daytona, like it was one of the best routines, even with the outcomes, like I felt like it was a very, very well put together routine. And I felt like we were as prepared as we could have been. I gave everything I had into that season and into that performance in Daytona. I definitely don't regret anything and, you know, mistakes mistakes happen and it's a part of being an athlete like you're going to have your great moments and you're going to have your hits and successes but you're also going to have your setbacks and you're going to have your falls and I think that specifically for this year like Monica is coming in hard because obviously behind every failure comes a comeback and it comes back even harder. I don't need to win any more trophies, but I do want to be the best. Well, where will we see you go from here? Are you done at Navarro or could you come back again? I don't totally know all the rules and regulations. Technically, I did my third year at Navarro 2021, but because of COVID, it kind of threw everything off and I technically do have one more year of eligibility there. Okay, Gabby Butler, season three of Cheer. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. <laughs>
<laughs> but I am still cheering. And I, uh, going into the second semester, I have had a lot of obstacles still thrown at me that a lot of people don't know about. So I am not sure, but just stay tuned. Is that anything you want to share or will be sharing? Soon, just, yeah, just stay tuned. Whatever I'm going to do, it's going to be, it's going to be the best decision and what really is just going to make me the happiest. So yeah. Gabby, are you going to Trinity Valley? Oh no, no, okay. girl, no. Yeah, I am, I am a Navarro, a ride or die for the rest of my life. Yeah, I love, well, it, respect them, but yeah, no. <laughs> is season three a possibility for you or is it totally ruled out? Uh, I don't know, honestly. I'm just kind of playing it day by day, trying to figure out what my life okay. is going on. So we will see. Could we ever see you coach at Navarro or coach anywhere? So I have been told a bunch of times that I would be a great coach. And honestly, it's not something that I've really always like dreamt of, but I feel like it is something that I would be very good at just because of all the things that I've learned over the past years from all these different coaches. I have so much knowledge and I do have a lot of love for the sport. So I do think it might be something that I would consider. Yes, one day. <laughs> yes, maybe that. one day, yeah. So will we see you at Daytona in 2022? Most, yes. <laughs> you will see me, <laughs> most likely, yes.